Welcome to this beginner friendly tutorial on building AI powered chatbot using Core.ai. Whether you are new to chatbot development or just looking to enhance your skill, this video will guide you by step by step. Now what is Core AI? It's a powerful no code, low code platform designed to help businesses build AI driven chatbots quickly and efficiently. These chatbots can be deployed across multiple channels like website, mobile apps, WhatsApp, Slack, and more. In this year, chatbots are smarter than ever, thanks to the advancement in natural language processing that is called NLP and machine learning. With Core.ai, you don't need to be coding experts. You can create a bot that understands user intent and provide accurate response. Now, why use Core AI? Well, you will get the answer. Now let's dive into the how to build your first chatbot using Core.ai. To get started, head over to this website, which you can see over your screen, code.ai website and sign up for a free trial account. If you don't have, uh, or if you already have one, once logged in, you will land on the dashboard. So here on the top right middle somewhere, you just go and click on sign in. You will be redirected to a new page here. Now you can use a Google ID. So I will use my Google ID just so that I can get into this account very fast. And if you don't have an account, just go and click on sign up. Now here you have to just go and click on build an AI chatbot. To begin building your chatbot, you will be prompted to choose a template or start from scratch here. So here you can see, select one of the best describe you. So here I will build the AI chatbot or someone on my team will implement the AI chatbot. Just so simpler, I will make it, I will select this one, how comfortable, I have never used it, what is yours? What is your time frame to deploy an AI chatbot? None, just browsing, or you can select here less than six months, right? So here you can schedule this, but let's say I will just choose here none and click on start building AI chatbot. Now here our AI can generate name for your chatbot. What is your company website? So I will just take a random uh, website here. So let's say I have taken this one and click on generate name and click on OK. Now here it will just take a few seconds and automatically it will just give some of the name here. So let's say I will select this one, Honey Helper and click on Next. You can also add your own app icon and all those stuff. You can just customize it. Now here it is asking you to add content to test drive the AI chatbot. So I will just go and click on Inject from the web page here. Now let's say I will just add the FAQ section and click on Add. Within just a few seconds, automatically the AI will learn all the data from here and click on next. Although if you want to skip this process, you can just go and click on skip test right here. But I will say just let it be because it just gave me a simpler chatbot. Here you can see test your chat. I can call on this number to talk to my AI chatbot. Now here you can see the question to ask a chatbot. What is the main mission of Haniveda? How did Hardik interest in beekeeping begins? So although it took the information directly from the, the link which I added, right? So here I can just type the message and all that. For example, let's say I will just add here, hi. Now just to train this up, I will just copy this question and paste it here. Now let's see what's the answer this AI chatbot gives. Okay, the main mission of Honeyweather is to provide pure raw and natural honey to consumers. Okay, they are right. The bot is pretty much 100% right. Now let's say I will just ask a second question here and press the enter. So obviously this is you know similar like obviously this sounds very similar to chat GPT right but I will just go and click on finish and jump into the Excel right. I hope you got this up and by the way you can also specify the channel where your bot will operate such as web chat, Facebook messenger or SMS. Now here it says that although I'm using a free version but you can activate and claim 50,000 tokens if you want to do so right and i will just go and select here maybe later now this is a dashboard if you have if uh, you guys if you have skipped the you know the starting uh, the question and answer part uh, this is how it looks now here we will just go and click on build your ai chatbot right this is the easiest way to do so and here you can see the they have given the uh, different different options here on the left side this is the i don't know what it is called the flow and everything right and here you can see this have the flows. Obviously, we will just go and talk one by one here. So let's go to the home page here. Now this is automation and you can just go and click on back to quick start or something like that. 
now here we have already made a bot right so we can test that bot now here you can see voice conversation or chat conversation so i can just go and use the chat conversation because we just made it honey helper right and this is a thing i can edit this up and always i can just stop this up and record this up and everything right just to check whether it's working properly or not but for the beginners i recommend starting with a blank bot so you can learn the basics without relying too much on pre-built templates right because the example which i gave you it was a mainly a template now the first step is defining your chatbot purpose for example let's say we are building a customer support bot for an e-commerce store give your bot a name such as e-commerce support bot or you can i just give a name honey helper bot right in this way now the first option here that you can see there's a lot of option you can just go and click on see full setup guide now obviously it will just give you a lot of options right now once you give the name and select the primary language it will use or if you don't give a language automatically it will select english as you saw on the screen you can also specify the channel where your bot will operate such as a web chat facebook messenger or sms now don't worry you can always add more uh, channels later next we have already designed the conversational flow right and uh, i will show you how you can do so so this is a flow and channels if you just come up here you can see this start flow now here you can just go and click on new start flow now this is where you map out how your bot interact with users in the dialog builder you can create intents which represents the goals or question using or user might have right so here you can write the flow name for each intent provide sample phrase users might say like where is my order or can you track my package the ai will use these examples to understand similar queries right similar to the faq now here you can let's say i'll just write here flow one and describe what the flow is let's say i wrote here help in shipping details although you can just uh, you know curate your description in a really good way and i will just let it be in a chat or sms i can select it for example in the sms no phone number is available because obviously to send an sms to the consumers or customers i need a phone number so you have to add a phone number now please select a channel to proceed so obviously it's a web and mobile intent here now no agents available so choose a flow so here default no flow available right i don't have any flow uh, don't get confused you can choose here choose a flow and then just go and click on proceed now here where's the main thing come after setting up your intents define the action your bot should take for example here you can see this is a split right so i don't want to add a split here although this is a message prompt so here i can just add a message let's say for example if somebody is asking me where is my order so i can just write here customer name and select message so i will just create a message where is i can just write it up here where is my order right and this is it so let's say it will just automation here right and once done you can automatically close this up or you can test this up it will show that how much your bot has been done or you can zoom this up right and now here you can see automatically it got up here on your board right i will just close this section right and here i can just create a more and more a split here automation agent transfer connect to api so i can connect the same messages right and after setting up intents once you define these actions and all this stuff you can also set fallback responses for cases where the bot doesn't understand a query this ensures a smooth user experience before deploying your chatbot it's crucial to test it thoroughly so you can on the top right side corner you have to test your bot use the built-in testing console to you know simulate conversation and ensure your bot respond correctly as you can see here how i can help you and i can let's say i will just write here where is my order same question right let's say the bot should ask me what's my tracking number or what's my order id something like that and if something isn't working as expected go back to the dialog builder and refine your intents or actions right now here you can see end of the chat history because where is my order i didn't made here something like that so i just go and and here in the automation section or the or in the message prompt i should i i need to add some of this text right where the bot can respond me properly where whenever you are satisfied with the chatbot performance it's time to deploy it so go to the deployment so let's say you have done with the chatbot here you can just go to the deploy here the rocket icon here and here in the publish section you can just go to the proceed in the bottom right side corner enter any useful comments from the admin if you want to do so and just go and click on confirm 
right it will show the app version and you can also import the versions and everything right so that is really interesting once live monitor your bot performance using the analytic tool so this is analytics tool and here it will just give you the summary you can go to the conversational dashboard and the user dashboard so it will just give you each and every data about this right so this is how you can do so now the key factor is regularly update your training data to improve accuracy personalized response based on user data so it's really important you can just go to the basic to quick start and here you just need to train your bot more and more right then only your bot will be able to answer these questions properly now this is it i hope you found this video very useful if you did subscribe